Yo, welcome on into the channel. My name is Phil. In today's video, we'll be customizing my PS5, and that's only being done by Extreme Ray RGB. I love my RGB lights. I've been planning to customize my PS5, and Extreme Ray RGB came at the right time by sending me over these lovely RGB LED lights to wrap around the PS5. Even a bonus. The PS5 logo customization. So I'll be having lights on the PS5 logo and the lights will be going around the PS5. So let's get this started. Also, before we get into the customization, stay tuned for the discount code. There we are, we have the Extreme Ray installation guide. We could have a quick look. You know how we do, Chris, you have a quick open. We know, we know, we know how to customize our PS5. Let's just throw this aside. But make sure you read that if it's your first time opening your PS5. Also, you've got the wipe down product, so I'll place these here. You've got the handy remote to switch the light colors or the dimming colors of the LED lights. And we have the wet wipes. And we have the LED itself. First thing you want to do is flip the PlayStation to the bottom half onto where the stand is, depending on how you got your PlayStation on the side or standing up right. So you want to remove the screw here to get rid of the stand. All right, I've done this plenty of times on the channel already, opening up the PlayStation case. We'll do it again in this video to make it nice and simple for you. I like to grab the bottom piece here. So I like to grab, hold it from here and then grab the top part from here and then literally all you do, you could grab any part of the top bit and then literally pull it down and it comes right off. So you want to be doing that on both sides of the console. So now you're going to gently turn it around, lay it back flat again and follow the same procedure you've done the first time taking the other side off. So you hold the bottom piece and literally, you just literally put it down. Once you put it down, it comes right off. All right, remember to get your wet wipes just to give the PlayStation a little clean of the dust. So this is where we'll be placing the LED. Just give that a nice little wipe. Please make sure to dry it once you're done as well. There's gonna be a left and a right side of the LEDs. I'll come it down here so you can see it. So make sure you have it on the right side, the left and the right, so you don't get it mixed up. Yeah, you can always double check by just placing it in to see how it works. Yep, that's the right side, obviously, as you can see. First thing you wanna do is slide it through the vent here. So there's the first slot of the vent. Slide it through, right through, like so. Let's peel the back sticker off. It should come right off, like so. Find yourself some tweezers just to peel it off and stick down. That's it, and once you've placed all your little rubber stickers, you can flip it around, and we're gonna get it right in. I'm gonna try and get mine in as fairly close as possible, around here, I'll say. I'm not gonna push down on it so it to stick just yet. I wanna see how it looks. But right, you ready to stick it down? So all right, I'm gonna push this through, and then it should all perfectly line up. There she is. If you get a bit stuck, you can always use this to peel it back up and then push it back in to how you want it to be stuck. There you go. And that's both sides of the console done. Before we get the case on, let's have a quick test. Working well, so switch these off for now. Hey Chris, I've been waiting for this bit, you know. The PlayStation 5 logo. I'm so intrigued to see how this comes out. So basically, we have the box here. We've got the instructions. We have the actual LED itself. The wipes and dry. Oh, this is the actual logo for the PlayStation to stick onto the console. Wipe up our area here. Make sure it's nice and wet. Give it a little rub. Once you've wiped your area up here, grab a clear piece of the PlayStation logo. One of these. Give it a clean also. 
once it's you gave it a little clean, just place it down. And then we're going to dry the surface area up. You need your dry piece, the dry wipes. Give it a quick dry. And then we're going to get a double sided tape of the PlayStation logo. We're going to grab one of these and stick it around the PlayStation area. That's the PlayStation area here. So we need to get the double sided tape. Just double check you got it in the right bit. So I need to peel off the bottom part first. That. And once you've got that peeled off, you place it gently inside the logo area. Once you start down the first side of the double sided tape, peel off the top part of the layer, just like so, and then get your clear piece of the logo and stick it right on. Once you start down your clear plate of the logo, you open up the LED power. So this will light up your logo. Right, the first thing you need to do, same as before with the other LEDs, slot it right through the first vent. So you just put it right through, like so. You go it through the vent. Know what I'll do? I'll turn the PlayStation around so we can see the logo. Better angle to see how to place the LED. So right now you see the LED is shaped like this. You see the bottom of the logo just here. So you want this right under here. And there's going to be two circles by the side by the logo. So you've got this bit and just make sure it comes where the curve is. These placed down, stuck like this onto your console. Let's get it stuck down now. Here we have it. It should look something like this. Right, now we have all the LED lights on the console. The console is officially customized. Grab your two USB wires, bring them down to the back of the console, around here, so they're safely tucked in so when you put the cases back on. So with the cases, all you need to do is the same thing as you took them off. Hold the top part of the PlayStation, find your holes, and then just literally slide it right back in. There we have it. The case is back on to the PlayStation 5. As you could see, you cannot see the LEDs anywhere. Even the wire management's not as bad. You cannot really notice the wire management is really done well. So all you need to do is slot the two USBs you have. So that's the LED ones with the two wires here. And this one here is the logo. You've got a settings buttons right here on the logo. Hopefully you can see it. This is how you would change the colors for the logo. So let's slot that in. Here we have the PlayStation logo LED light. As I said, it's got the button right here on the USB. Give it a little click and you can change the colors of the logo. Overall, with the custom look, I really do prefer the blue light just going down the PS5. But this is the custom PS5. I also like the red and white case on the console but yeah let me know what you think of the rgb lights yeah i love it i actually love it i actually love it chrissy how do you like it you like it it looks good i like it I like it extreme rate i love it really appreciate it and for you watching like and subscribe i should have the discount code like boom if you can't see it here it's gonna be down below in the description box Thank you for watching. Remember to grab your LED lights. Make your PS5 customized. I'm out of here.